Hi everyone and welcome to the show that lets your voice be heard. I'm your host, Juhi Desai. On today's exciting episode, we'll bring you through the highlights of Press conference by the Association of Indians in America in support of a posted stamp honoring Diwali, the Hindu Temple Society of North America's Republic Day flag hoisting event, the Gandhi Punya Tithi by the Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan and the Indian Consulate, and a buyer-seller meeting by the Apparel Export Promotion Council. The Association of Indians in America recently held a press conference to urge the Citizen Stamp Advisory Commission of the U.S. Postal Service to issue a postage stamp honoring Diwali, the Festival of Lights. Let's join them and find out more. As attendees gather, we'll hear from AIA President Mrs. Ranju Patra, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, Gen I President and CEO Mr. Sudhir Vaishnav, and various local and global political leaders. The idea of Diwali stamp has been around for a long time. When I became president for the Association of Indians in America, New York, I decided I was going to push for Diwali stamp. I had two major things on my mind that I wanted to achieve. One to make the Silver Diwali historic, and it surely was, with a grand pre-celebration at the Pier Hotel, and then South Street Street Mela, which is the largest Diwali celebration in North America. The second objective was to push for the Diwali stamp to become a reality. So I turned to my dear friend, Carolyn Maloney. So the Congresswoman brought her energy and excitement and has taken a lead in the U.S. House of Representatives to make Diwali stamp a reality. From now on, we will be opening a competition for the artwork of Diwali stamp. But the details, I'll leave it to Carolyn Maloney. It's very appropriate that the world's largest democracy and the world's oldest democracy are so uh, unified and and uh, really uh, together on so many values and goals. And I look forward to the passage of H.R. 47, which we just introduced with six members of Congress. Uh, we hope to get every member of Congress to be a co-sponsor. And we call upon the Indian American community and the American community, their newspapers, to uh, talk about this and have the public, encourage the public to approach their Congress members to become co-sponsors. Uh, uh, Raju has talked about a, a competition for a Diwali stamp. We, we're already acting like it's already passed. We now have to talk about the artwork. And uh, to have children and others uh, submit uh, to my office or her organization their artwork. Uh, we can get uh, teachers that are art teachers in the Indian American and American community to make a selection of five that we'll take to the stamp committee and to the Postmaster General. It is ultimately a decision of the Postmaster General. We are called for meetings. I'd like to thank all the dignitaries for being uh, present here, and of course my friends in media. Without you, um, we couldn't do it. And we wish all the uh, best, very best, for the stamp to move forward, and we will succeed. Thank you very much all for coming out here. I have absolutely no doubt that when Congresswoman Carolyn Mononi introduced House Resolution 47, on January the 25th this year to urge the Citizen Stamp Advisory Committee, an entity of the U.S. Po Postal Service, to issue a commemorative stamp in honor of the Festival of Diwali. The co-sponsors um, may have been only six in number, but Congresswoman, when you tell um, the other members uh, of the U.S. Legislature and of Congress uh, that Diwali not only symbolizes or rather stands for a festival of light, but it is essentially some an, uh, an occasion uh, which is very auspicious 
which uh, represents the victory of good over evil. It's an honor to be here with so many of our leaders and my colleague, Councilwoman Tish James, um, really to, to push something that is really so important, if not only symbolically, uh, for the current and the, pre and the future of America, and especially for our young people. Woman power is indeed something that Diwali represents, and, and by commemorating that with this stamp, you are not only paying a tribute to diversity, which America uh, respects and celebrates, but also to woman power. And we at UN Women, uh, of course, have great faith in the power of women to move things. And, and I entirely agree, Councilwoman. And, and uh, Congresswoman uh, Maloney, I would like to take this occasion to also very strongly thank you for your advocacy on the United States signing the and ratifying the uh, CEDAW, <laughs> the Convention for the Elimination of Discrimination, of all forms of discrimination against women. And you've been in the forefront of that crusade. We hear Congresswoman Maloney speak to the press and answer their questions. Best of luck in the push to make the Diwali stamp a reality. It's now time for our first break, but don't go far. We've got lots more on the other side of the break.